Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to my lounge. This is my dog, Paddy, and today we have been sponsored by Supercell to see who can make the most progress on a brand new account in Clash of Clans in just 24 hours. Now, I will be using the power of engineering to get as far as I can, whilst my pooch will be using Master Clash, Supercell's new tool that helps new players become literal masters of Clash of Clans. So click the link in my description to check out Clash of Clans, and whether you're new or returning, be sure to check check out Master Clash to help you become even better. Right, so I've just gone past the tutorial. We're, we're probably about five minutes into the game. Uh, and this is what we have going for us. Not, not, not a lot really, is it? We've got a gold mine here, which we can tap on to get some more gold. This collector to get some elixir. And you can see they're stored in the gold storage and the elixir storage. So in the top right, we've got just over 3,000 of each. So we're going to use those to go into the shop and upgrade our base. So we can get another elixir collector for 150 gold, another gold mine for 150 Alexa. That seems like a good idea to do. May as well shove those next to each other there. And the gold mine up there. That looks good. We probably want some defenses. So let's grab a cannon and then an archer tower. So we'll shove the cannon like there-ish. The archer tower is pretty pricey at a thousand coins, actually. I'm just wondering, would it be worth trying to save my gold and get up to 4,000 so that we can upgrade our town hall? I think that's probably the thing to do because essentially until we upgrade our town hall, we can't unlock a lot of these things like the laboratory is town hall three required the mortar as well so in order to get more money faster rather than just waiting for these every time uh, we can attack other bases but first we need an army now if we go into our barracks you can see at the moment all we have is a little barbarian and as much as i like the barbarians i'm only gonna build 10 of them because i think i probably want to upgrade my barracks to level two because that will unlock the archer and actually my plan is slightly scuppered because i've just realized if i do try and upgrade my town hall i do actually need to build the arch tower on the walls first. Okay, so let's build those whilst we train a load of archers. I think you want 10 of those. So we'll shove the arch tower up there. That will take a minute. Then whilst that's being built, I'm just going to change my, my base around a bit. Okay, so as an engineer, that looks way more efficient. Let's just make sure we've got our walls on the goat. So walls cost 50 to unlock. And we probably want to put these around our town hall. So down the bottom. So yeah, we'll do a bit of that. And the walls at this point, since we can't go all the way around our base, are just used to deflect our enemies into our cannons and other defenses. So now our army is trained. We're ready to go. Let's head into battle. Yeah, we can have a go at fighting other players or we can just do a bit of single player. I feel like single player might be the place to start for now. So let's take out the goblin outpost. Uh, quite a lot of loot here. 1,500 of each. Now I'm going to sacrifice a couple of barbarians just because I feel like those gaps in there, they might be there as traps. Oh no, looks good. Okay, let's take out the cannons. We'll get some archers around the outside. So the archers are doing the damage while the cannons are distracted by the barbarians. And that is teamwork. So let's get them all involved. They will take out the rest of the base. That is three stars. We've got some cash. So we'll train a load more army. And I'll tell you what might be worth upgrading our army camp. I'll take 15 minutes, but we get an extra 10 troop capacity. So yeah, let's do that. In the meantime, I'm going to keep smashing through these single player missions. So again, barbarians in followed by the archers. They should take that cannon out. Yes, they should then take this cannon. No, it's a bomb. Oh, no. All my archers. Anyway, now we're good. There is a cannon at the back, which I probably should have taken out first. Hopefully, we can smash through this building and then they will go for the defense. But this is where a different kind of unit would help. A unit that targets these defenses rather than any old building. Yeah, so we only did 50% damage, but we did get all the loot from that one, which means we can now set our town hall to be upgraded. So that will take an hour, but we could use some of these gems to finish it now. Now, we've only got 244 gems after the tutorial. So something I probably want to look at is how I can get more of those. And a very nice, easy way to do that is actually all of these challenges here. So we've got one. We've got our Super Cell ID connected. So that's 50 gems straight away. So we'll claim that. We've unlocked the archer. So that's another five. We even got some for us single player stuff. So we'll take those. Thank you. Now, I think the thing that will help me the most is unlocking this builder's hut. That will give me an extra builder, which means I can build two things at once. That's going to take 500 gems to get. However, if we click this button down here, there's also these challenges which will help us because as we work on each of these, they'll also give us resources and gems. So for now, I think it's 
probably worth spending the 18 I need to finish the town hall. Yeah, we're going to do it because that has given us access to 34 new things. So before we do any of that, let's just quickly upgrade what we have. So I think elixir storage and gold storage is probably going to be required. Although increasing our town hall level has increased those anyway. But yeah, let's do that. So five minutes to do that. So whilst that's upgrading, we will claim these earlier rewards to get some resources and then take out more of these. So I think what we want to do, we want to take out these cannons first. So as before, we go in with barbarians. So five and five, the barbarians take the damage. The archers do the most damage. So again, on this side, five of those there, archers just behind. And then hopefully we can take out the rest of their base without worrying too much about damage. Just got to watch out for the odd bomb. So nice, 100% completion. We get a load of resources. And then we're back training our troops once again for the next battle. So meanwhile, our two builders have been hard at work. You can see our army camp is nearly done. That's what we did earlier with our first builder. This second one, the gold storage, only a minute left as well. So one more quick battle. And I think those inside the walls, they're probably going to be traps, aren't they? So let's do the old one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And hopefully our barbarians will distract the cannons long enough that we should take them out with the archers. There we are. So that just leaves the base to be destroyed by the archers. Nice. I love that sorting a building like destroys it as well. <laughs> Anyway, our army camp is just about done. There we go. So we can actually hold more troops now. So probably worth training a few more. So yeah, we can now hold 30 troops. So that will be 15 of each of these. So I'll train those up. And then meanwhile, let's see what else we can build. We could build another army camp. That will double our army size. Oh, yeah, that could be good. There's also a laboratory. Take a minute to build. Yeah, let's get that down. Because once it's finished, like now, we can then research some stuff. So that's going to take quite a a lot of elixir but you can see we can make our troops so much stronger if we can do that so let's try and save up for what do we need 20,000 and 30,000 that probably means we need our elixir storage we can give that another 1500 capacity it will take five minutes that's fine now we can also build more elixir storage gold storage and the collectors are mine so let's get those all in straight away right after my cannons finish upgrading oh that looks chunky so we'll build a new collector like that a new storage storage can go there like that and then same with the gold collector and storage up there decent so we can now hold 13,000 of each so yeah definitely need to work on improving those there are only five minute upgrades so i'll probably do that and then go do some more battling so die architect scum i'm, I'm sure they're architects that we're attacking right anyway we've then got a load of challenges unlocked which means 10 more gems oh thank you all uh, it might be worth upgrading our actual elixir collectors as well because that means means they're going to produce, well, twice as much. And they can also hold a bit more as well. So yeah, they only take a minute each. So probably worth doing that. So our collector did look like that, but it's now upgraded to this. Very posh. Now we could upgrade that again. It will take four minutes, but may as well upgrade the lower ranked ones. So you get upgraded. You get upgraded. Yes, please. And that one's done. So we can upgrade these gold mines for just 300 elixir. Again, they double everything. So well worth doing early on. Now we do actually have this up here, by the way. We can see like like how our upgrades are doing and it actually gives us suggested and new items that we can upgrade as well so we definitely want to build that army camp i had nearly forgotten about that the downside it does mean i'll be down a builder for five minutes and um, actually whilst i'm here i should probably get my walls down because they don't take any time at all so if we go up this way with them hopefully we can do the same on this side nice and then we've protected the sensitive part of our bases actually i might actually move my storage in there and since enemies will likely come round this end where there's no wall. I should probably move my cannons up to that point. So that looks good. You can see we're upgrading these old mines. They look like that. It's the new ones which are slightly posher looking. But the most important thing, these produce gold quicker. All right, so I'm going to build these bombs as well because they take nothing to build. Were they were they free? No, they cost 400 gold each, but they didn't take any time to build. So that is always good in my books. Now we do have a mortar that we can use for defense. We haven't actually been attacked yet because we still have our start shield. You can see up here, it's going to last two days, 22 hours. As long as we don't attack anyone else, you can see every attack will cost us three hours of our shield. Hence, we've just been focusing on the single player for now. But yeah, if I want to get to the research, we need to upgrade our storage even more. So what I might do, I might set this storage down here. It's going to cost 1500 gold and take 20 minutes. But I think I'm going to upgrade that one and then take five minutes to build this army camp. 
to give us an even bigger army. So let's shove that up there. And then in the meantime, let's take on some more of these missions. So gold rush. Oh, there are some resources in this one. 8,000 gold. Imagine what we could do with that. We can see they've got tier ones up there and then tier two cannons down here. Could be dangerous. I'm starting to think I might need my increased army size, but let's see what happens anyway. So plonk those down. Archers behind. Same over this side. Archers, take them down. All right, that's one cannon down. Cannon over there is also down. Nice. We've just got these cannons up the top. Right, here we go. Last cannon. This is all that's stopping us. Come on. Three archers. Take them down. No, we're down to two archers. Down to one archer. No. Oh, and these are getting picked off because this building's distracting them. How does that have such big range? Well, the good news is we are just about out of range of the cannon. We will take out this building and get all the loot. The bad news is we won't get the three stars that we need. Because I imagine if these guys try and go close to get the cannon, they will be wiped out. So, oh, there are three of them. They might be able to do it. Come on. Come on. It's got such little health. Come on. One hit. One more hit. Oh, no. Oh, you can't get any closer than that. Still, we got the full amount of loot. And look at this. Our army camp is about to be finished being built. So we can have an even bigger army, which means we can take on those new emissions. So nice. Uh, the other thing I noticed down here, we have a boat. Uh, it's free to rebuild. So may as well build that. Oh, no. Got to upgrade to Town Hall level four. How much does that cost? 25,000. And we need to have built our mortar as well. Okay, game. Okay. Now, generally in this game, I don't think it's worth worth rushing to upgrade although i do i do want to get down there but yeah probably worth spending some gold so what i might do i do some of these things that are like instant upgrade so a little bit of wallage that's a thousand each quite pricey if i spend a few thousand on that it means i can go upgrade again um, i need to rebuild my army as well so i think 15 barbarians 15 archers oh no we can have way more now we can have we can have 25 of each oh i forgot about that and then i'll use the rest of my gold to upgrade like some of these cannons that only take a few minutes so that's another cannon done oh and to be honest i'm trying to get up to like yeah in order to upgrade my barbarian to level two i need 20,000 elixir which i can't store at the moment i can store 16,000. you know that i'm upgrading this which will add another 3,000. but i think a better way of doing this might be to upgrade the collectors because they actually hold an extra a thousand and they only take four minutes so yeah i think what i'll do i will upgrade all of those but then once my elixir storage is 20 thousand or thirty thousand i'll be able to upgrade these guys and then we'll definitely be able to get some more stars and more resources out of this so i'll see you when we get to that point all right so it's been a couple of minutes they're now done oh i'm now level six yeah, our capacity is only nineteen thousand still so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to do this one which is going to take an hour so yeah we'll do that and then because i don't want paddy getting ahead of me i'm going to take him for a walk and whilst i'm doing that i'll build the mortar which will take three hours i think that's the best use of my time here so we'll shove that up there but, oh no i'm missing gold i'm missing gold wait no i'm not missing gold because if we head down here i already have a reward for four thousand gold claim that oh thank you all. so the mortar is being built that will take three hours so in the words of that big buff austrian man i'll be back all right i think i'm gonna go check on paddy see how he's getting on pad why are you outside why, why aren't you working on your base what do you mean you went on to Master Clash and a clever guy in there that is way more smarter and better looking than me told you exactly what to do in the most effective order so you can spend your time chasing your tail? <gasps> there is no way this dog is going to beat me. Right, so dog walk done. Paddy gave me some smack talk. But honestly, how can he win? He's he's only got paws. Anyway, whilst we were away, we upgraded our elixir storage to level four. Nice. Look at that. We've got four balls of storage, which means if we can get a little bit more elixir, we can then do one of the upgrades so that our barbarians a lot stronger. So we could have a go at this one. It does say at least town hall level four is recommended for this fight. We're only town hall level three, remember, but it's got the 8,000 elixir we need. So let's do it so what have we got here oh look the elixir storage is right on the edge so we can probably just nab that without without any trouble really but the trouble with this base is there is a mortar so if we want to take the mortar out we're gonna have to get close which means archers aren't gonna be too useful but if we spread them out they might be okay let's start with these cannons so barbarians go in archers behind Right, guessing shafted, I will not lie. But I tell you what, let's surround this mortar. He can only take one of us out at a time. Yes, yes, it's nearly gone. Yes, it's gone. So that means we're good to destroy the rest of the base 
take all the loot and get those three stars. And we did it all with Town Hall 3 troops. Well, and not even that really, because we haven't even upgraded our barracks yet, meaning we haven't unlocked the giants. So technically, we did it with Town Hall level 2 troops. Anyway, 21 grand in there. We can finally get on the research. So Barbarian, you're going to be stronger. You're going to look how much more damage there is. Extra hit points too. That will take two hours, but it doesn't cost a builder. That's just research in the background, which means I still have a builder spare. So I think as they're both going to take two hours each, I should probably find something that's going to take two hours and then I'll be back myself in two hours. I can upgrade this Alexa storage to level five and it'll get an extra 13,000 meaning we can do the archers next. So, Boosh, we'll do that. Quickly cash in our challenges, gain some rewards. Oh, thank you all. And don't forget to empty your collectors and mines. There we go. And then we'll leave this for two hours. I'll be back in a bit. All right, so look at my giant ball now. Means we can now hold 38,000. And now that the, the barbarian is done, we could upgrade the archer. So I think first off, let's take these troops into battle. We'll take on the Rat Valley again. Again, recommended for Town Hall level 4. So we got two cannons up here. So I guess let's do a bit of that. So that's those dealt with. And we'll try and do the same down here. So just spam archers all around. Barbarians taking the hits. All right, now we just need to be careful because there's bombs everywhere. You silly, silly people. So if I just send a single barbarian in, he should set off the bombs. There they go. And now hopefully it should be cleared of bombs so we can just... Oh, there's one more bomb. No, we're good. Okay, let's just send them all in. Destroy the rest of the base. Claim the three stars and all that lovely loot. Now, since I got loads of cash, I might actually just do this Alexa storage. It's going to be three hours, but that's fine. All right, then we only need five and a half thousand more elixir before we can do the next bit of research. And that would be making our archers stronger. However, this next base looks pretty meaty, if I'm honest. Lots of walls going on, although actually only two cannons. Yeah, I feel like we can take that. We can take that. Although the other option is to do verses, because I've got this shield, which will last two days. I mean, it's probably sensible to keep that, but at the same time, I do want to take on some architects of this world, so let's do it. It's going to cost us three hours, but oh, this looks good for sniping. Yeah, I'll tell you what, look, no defenses over here, so I could literally just get a few, well, just one little archer if I wanted to. They're taking those out. I could probably sneak that one. Oh, I was going to hope I could do it without being, without being sniped by those. Yeah, I think I'll just, I'll just destroy that for now, then I'll move on. Oh, and even better, we're taking this collector down, which if you look closely it's completely filled up so we surrender there we got 1200 elixir not great but not bad either and then we just spend 50 coins a time to try and find one that has a good amount of resources we can nick Ooh, so this has the 5000 i need i'm not sure i could take down the entire base but i probably could take down those two elixir things so actually i'm taking down the entire base all right take out the cannons we got the 30,000 we need so we may as well go for this fifth turn the base done that is a start they've only got one cannon remaining actually. If we can get in there, we will be laughing. All right, here we go. Archers are coming in. See you later, cannon. Boosh, it's gone. All right, then they go into there, destroy the town hall, and that is the three stars. So we get all that loot as well. Lovely. Which means we can now research the archer to make those even stronger. And then we got 10 grand and one builder to do some upgrades. So we'll upgrade that and then we're good to move on. Okay, so it's been a few hours. The archers are leveled up to level two. You can see my collectors and mines are completely full. So if I tap those, yeah, 3,000, 2,000. Oh, look at all that money. So we got 14 and a half grand to spend on my upgrades. But I'm sort of at the point where a lot of these things cost 25 grand. So I think I need to work on my gold storage. I mean, that'll be done in five minutes. I don't know why I forgot to do those earlier. So we'll just get our builders on upgrading these. All right, so that alarm means it's the final hour. Now, I've been pretty good, like, upgrading everything as we go. We've got these cannons. They're level three now. Uh, check this out. I upgraded the barracks. I can oh, I can actually do that again to get the wall breaker. But if we go and train troops, check this out. we got the giants and the goblins. Now, I absolutely love goblins. So we're going to spam loads of those just so we can get loads of money to do some big upgrades before the final hour. I could do these cannons. They would take 45 minutes. That will leave me 15 minutes to upgrade some thing. The barracks take eight hours. I probably should have done that sooner. No, Arch Tower takes 15 minutes. So yeah, I'll tell you what, let's be quick. Let's be quick here. So let's do both these cannons. Oh no, I can only afford one. We've got to do some attacks, get some money. 
Okay, so this one looks pretty good. 13,000 gold, 11,000 elixir. And it's a bit of an architect's base as well, I think. Because what I'm thinking, if I can take out that archer tower, then we should be pretty free to get most things up here. Because, yeah, look, all the resources are stored in the mines and those. So that's good. You can see there's actually, there's none in the storage. So I know I don't need to bother going for that. I probably do want to go for this, though. So we've taken one out. I'm going to use, once the mortar hits, boosh, I'm going to use those. Just look at the goblins. They're so good. They go straight straight for the resources as well and they're really strong against it so top left we've pretty much taken all the gold just a little bit of elixir left which i think is all in that one goblins helping out massively there nice so i think we're in battle there because we made some good gains there two and a half thousand in this one so i think if i just destroy those two mines there you go we're up to twenty-one thousand. so let's surrender but that means we've got time to upgrade this cannon and so over the next hour i'm just going to do a few more battles get my resources up and then hopefully i should be able to research the goblins. 45,000 elixir I'm going to need. Uh, and whilst they won't be completed within the 24-hour limit, I'm pretty sure Paddy won't be anywhere near that, even if he is using the Master Clash guides. So I'll see you close to the end. All right, so I found a few more bases like this one. Pretty good loot, nearly 20 grand gold. I got a little goblin up the top smashing that wall. And then as soon as he bursts through, like now, we can send in the cavalry. So we'll send in quite a few more. A few up that way to distract. And then, yeah, Yes, look at the gold storage being destroyed. Then I also found a really good one at the end as well. So let's just use all our goblins to fill up our elixir. Look at that flying up. We have maxed out the elixir, which means with just a few minutes to spare, we have time to research the goblins, make them stronger for 45k. Then also upgrade our town hall to level four. It will take three hours, so it won't be done in the time limit. But still, this is how far we got. Not bad at all. We got two level four cannons. Our elixir storage is all the way up to level six. Fantastic. And we would have upgraded all of our units before we move on. So overall, I think I did pretty well. Let's go see all that pesky pooch did. So Paddy, it's been 24 hours. How did you get on? Holy, how did you get so good so fast, Paddy? What do you mean you just thought like an engineer and used Master Clash? Well, let's have a look at your base then, Paddy. Ah, you licked the lens. So you're going to show me some of the Town Hall 10 tactics that you learn off Master Clash. Okay, so I'm doing one of your war attacks. You want me to select Lightning Potion. There we go. And then I should take out their air defenses. Okay, looking good. Then you want me to select dragons. There we go. Then spam them down this side. Pad, pad, what are you doing? All right, then we shove my hero down. I guess we hope for the best. Paddy, considering you only have paws, you're pretty good at this stuff. All right, looks like we're done. Three stars. We did it, Paddy. High five. Ow. So once again, thanks to Clash of Clans for sponsoring today's video. Me and Paddy had a blast. If you want to check it out, click the link in my description. Be sure to use Master Clash to get yourself one step ahead of your rivals. And I'll say peace, love, and clans. Bye, guys.